Patrick Walsh from the Media Relations Department of Louisiana Tech had a chance to uh, interview Ray Guy Award winner from last year uh, from Louisiana Tech, Ryan Allen, and excited to hear what he has to say. What made you choose to be a punter, and have you played any other positions? Um, choose to be a punter. I actually have a strong, I had a song, strong soccer background um, all growing up, uh, but through high school I was mostly basketball. Um, but m the main influence that had me, you know, that pushed me to, to play football was uh, a big group of my senior senior high school mates that I played basketball with. Um, their team was supposed to be second or third in the state for football, and they didn't really have a kicker, so I just kind of tried out because I knew I could probably do it. And uh, I kind of caught on pretty quickly, but it just came from the soccer background. So that's where I kind of learned to be a punter. And um, Actually, I was mainly just a kicker, and uh, I kind of picked up the punting aspect pretty quickly as the summer going into my first year at Oregon State. Your first year when you first started really picking up punting, uh, how much work was it, drills, et cetera, to really kind of get a feel for it? Um, it takes quite a long time, especially for punting, because, I mean, if you imagine it, you're hitting a moving target that only weighs a few pounds, so any type of weather conditions can affect it, and uh, it's a lot of foot-eye coordination, so drills are super key into becoming a consistent punter and especially when you're younger right out of high school the tempo and the speed is, gets picked up uh, moving from high school to college so uh, it's the drills are very necessary and it takes uh, a lot of time everyone goes out to practice and they're watching the offense drill and the defense drill but while that's happening what do the specialists do what do punters and and kickers do and they seem to kind of disappear uh, yeah, we uh, we tend to be kind of in the shadows compared to all the other players, and uh, but you know, in, in a sense, it's like the position itself. We're very, it's a mental game. It's like a lot of people like to refer to it as golf, uh, or compare it to golf, not refer to it, but um, it is a lot, a lot like golf. It's a lot of men, mental. It's a mental game, pretty much with yourself and only yourself. And uh, so, being alone is not actually a bad thing. It's actually it benefits you more than anything. Um, but yeah, we do. We're on our on our own a lot, and uh, we just put in. We have a drill sheet that we follow every day, and we're pretty consistent on what we do. And um, now we're bringing out a video camera to videotape ourselves and watch and see if we can correct any mistakes um, right then and there. Um, I think that's a key thing too, is to be able to watch video right when you're as you're training. Um, and that's something I've learned from you know a coach I work with at one on one kicking, Mike McCabe. He's uh, he taught me that, and I think it's really benefited me. What was the most pressured situation and the most difficult situation you've been in in a punting situation? Um, let's see. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of a game. What game in the past couple of years? Um, we haven't really had any crazy. Well, actually, yeah. This last year, when we opened up the season at Southern Miss, uh, it had rained for like 24, 36 hours straight. Um, and the field, when we went out there to warm up the field, when you place the ball on the ground, it would float. And they didn't even know if we were able to play at the exact time that kickoff was supposed to happen. Um, but that game pretty was it was pretty windy and it was pretty rainy. That was the only game I had to uh, punt in crazy weather conditions. But it was hard. I came out and <laughs> very first punt of the last season, actually, I got blocked. Um, they came right up the middle and I had to catch it in, in my stomach because the ball was too wet. And then, uh, like, two punts later, I had one that was, like, 24 yards that I just put a little bit outside and it slipped off my foot. And uh, I corrected myself, though, and I came back and had a strong second half. But to, it was good that I overcame that because it gave me a lot of confidence. But it is, uh, it's definitely difficult to play in some, you know, pretty crummy weather conditions. How surprised were you to win the Ray Guy Award last year, and what was it like to attend the ESPN College Football Award show? Uh, it was very, very surprising it to be at the very beginning of the season. My first couple of games, I wasn't sure. I knew I was going to have a better season than I did last season, uh, there, or the prior season to that. But uh, I basically, each game, I looked at the stats and the leading boards, and I basically say, you know, told myself that I need to just climb the ladder slowly, and it's not going to happen between one or two games. But basically, the better average and net average I have and the better personal stats I have, the better it is for my team. So, you know, in a sense, if you told somebody that, it would seem selfish. But, you know, I'm trying to do the best I can for myself and for my team. And, you know, that's how I kind of looked at it. And so as I would punt each game, I would always have a goal of, 
you know, my, my net, my overall average, and I slowly climbed it. But as a nice. Player, I felt like I was Damn. in a good position to at least be recognized for it. And, uh, but to, to, <laughs> to see where I started out at the beginning of the season and then to end up in that seat where, you know, you're at the ESPN College Football Awards with people like, you know, Robert Griffin III and Andrew Luck. And just sitting with such a great group of athletes is, it's just, it's motivational. It's just something that you're never, it's never going to leave you. It's something that I, it's one of my greatest moments of my life, honestly. Before you, no non-BCS punter had ever won the Ray Guy Award. Was that kind of going through your mind as you were, they were getting ready to announce the award? Were you worried that being from a a smaller school at a non-BCS conference would kind of factor in? Uh, you know, it, yeah, I mean, I'd be lying if I said I didn't. That looked uh, good. I felt like, you know, when you looked at overall stats and stuff, I felt like, you know, I should relax and be pretty comfortable in my position. And honestly, it is just an award. Just to be a finalist and to be, to attend that whole award ceremony is, um, you know, an honor in itself. And But to win it is, you know, is a is a big deal. And, um, but, and yeah, I did. I was going up against uh, a punter from Oregon and a punter from Auburn, and those are great programs that were very successful last season. And uh, yeah, a little bit, a little bit made me kind of second guess and maybe wonder whether that was going to play into their, you know, decision making on it. But at the end of the day, I was just happy to be there and happy to represent Louisiana Tech and get our name out there on a national level. Aside from actually winning award, what was your favorite moment at the? trip to Orlando for the award show? Um, honestly, just, I mean, the award itself, being able to be around those that group of athletes and to see the kind of fan appreciation, I guess, and maybe not towards, you know, the punters and kickers, but the fact that we had to walk through kitchens and stuff like that because so many people cared, you know, and were, you know, looked up to some of those icons in college football like Andrew Luck and stuff and no wonder they do. Those guys were just studs and just complete down to earth guys with great, you know, great personality and great character. And uh, just to be around them and to to be able to have my family out there at a moment like that and to celebrate and you know acknowledge you know my success and the team's success that year was it was it was very it was a very big honor and just a, one of the greatest moments I've had. In camp so far, you look like you're punting the ball better than at any point last year. Uh, do you think that's the case? Do you feel that's the case? And what have you done over the summer to get to that point? Um, I do. I, I feel it's a little – whenever you have uh, – once you throw pads back on and everything, it does take at least a solid a solid week to really start getting comfortable with the weight back on your shoulders. And um, it does it does play a little bit with you, but um, – we're getting used to it, and it's. I'm getting used to snapping with Josh Cuthbert again, and we got a new snapper, Daryl Travis, who's doing really well. Um, and it's just all about timing with one, timing with one another and getting a you know down as a unit between the snapper and the punter. But we're doing good, and I do feel like you know um, as far as looking back at last year's camp, nice, damn. Most of it is coming from working with Coach McCabe with one-on-one kicking. He's a uh, He's a very, very good coach who's very detailed and really knows what he's talking about. And he's a uh, he's very sarcastic, and sometimes he can get on my nerves a lot because of his teaching, you know, critique. But when that look good. when the, it's all said and done, and the day's done, he knows exactly what he's talking about. And every time I've challenged him, I've done what he's told me to do, and it's worked. And so, just being able to be coachable with him and listen to what he's got to say, and take things from him, and really try to emphasize it when. At the very beginning, it didn't work out for me. It's kind of like the saying, people say you have to get worse to get better. And I've always taken that into consideration with him, and it's helped a lot. And just being able to punt out, uh, to punt with people like Richie Leone from Houston, uh, he's a great kid and he's a great punter, and he's going to do a ton of good things this year too. And uh, just to be able to you know, punt against each other and have a competitive, a healthy competitive nature with one another, it really pushes you forward. And so I think this whole summer of being able to be – down in Alabama working with all those guys for two months has done a, you know, tremendous things for me.